Hi, and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. I'm continuing to work with this table, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at sorting data. Now, data sorting, there's a few ways you can do it. I'm going to start with the easiest way, which is to use the buttons on the toolbar. What I'll do is I'll say I'd like to sort my list by the customer name. So all I need to do is click any cell in that customer list there. On the toolbar, I've got two options, A to Z and Z to A. Hopefully they're self-explanatory. So I'm going to click the Sort Ascending button, and you'll see my customer names are sorted alphabetically, A to Z. OK, and I'll uh, click the other button just to demonstrate that you can do that as well if you want to. So that's in reverse order if you like. And I can do the same thing in my movie titles. So click in the titles, click A to Z Sorting, and we've got the titles sorted so I can quickly see which are popular and which are unpopular. Now because my list has got a reference column on I can very quickly go back to the original order by simply clicking any cell in that column and go to my A to Z sort and it goes low to high. So A to Z is equivalent to low to high in a numeric list. Now if I go to my uh, return date here in fact, the dates are more or less in order anyway, um, but just to demonstrate, maybe I'll put that date in reverse order. So click in my date column and sort descending, and that puts the latest date first and the earliest date last. And obviously A to Z is the other way around. Okay, that's a very simple sorting. Now there's one thing I want to warn you about when you're sorting, and that is to never select your data when you sort. And I can illustrate that by simply selecting some data. So let's say I want to sort my movies. So I'm going to select all the entries in that list there. Scroll down. I'll tell you what, if I scroll down a bit further, I can extend that. There we are. OK, so I've selected all my movies. And I like to sort those alphabetically. So I click on the A to Z sort button. And I get a warning. And what this is warning me is that if I continue with the current selection so for example if I misread that warning and say yes continue and ignore the detail I'll show you what will happen now that is not what you want suddenly all the films have been sorted but as you can see everything else is left alone and you can tell that because the reference numbers are all in the same order now that is very easy to do and once that happens and you miss it, there's no way back. So for example, if you've accidentally sorted your list and you've saved it, then you've got a problem because there's no way back to the original list. Even with the reference column, there's no way if I save that and reopen it that I can remember which customer took out which film. It's not going to work. In this case, I can actually undo my error and it's back to how it was. Now if you do select and sort for whatever reason and you get this warning message Excel by default has this expand selection option highlighted. If I click sort now it does work and you can see my reference numbers are all mixed up. That's because all the records have been kept together when that sort occurred. But my advice to you is never ever select to sort. Let Excel decide the parameters of the table and sort automatically so all you need to do is click in the column click the sort button and Excel will take care of the rest for you okay it's resort on my reference number so be careful of that when you're sorting the other thing to watch out for is blank rows in your table okay and it's easy to do so if somebody came along and uh, decided to delete one of my rows for whatever reason okay so I'm going to highlight row 11 there and delete. Now that's left a blank row there because when you actually delete a row there's a, there's a correct way of doing it which I will show you in a minute but just for now I'm going to show you how that affects the sorting. Now from your point of view it looks like that's all the same table but from Excel's point of view we now have two tables. So if I sort my titles now you will see that this part of the table now is separate to this part of the table. Now you see the movies at the top there are sorted, the ones down the bottom have been left alone. So something like that isn't really as bad as accidentally sorting one column out of sequence. 
Um, but it's something to watch out for. If you have blank rows in your table, make sure they are properly removed. And to do that, you simply, well, there's a few ways to do it. Uh, easiest way is to click the row number in this case, just right click, choose delete and Excel will automatically delete the whole row and bring the other parts of the table back up. Okay, so I'm going to undo that so I get my data back as well. There we go. And the other way of doing it is if I click any part of that record that I want to be deleted in row 15, go to the edit menu, choose delete, I'll get a dialog box pop up and it says entire row. I can click on that, click OK, and that again removes the row and keeps all the rows in my table together without any blanks. Okay, again, I'll undo that to bring back that record. So a couple of things to watch out for there. When you're sorting, do not select and keep an eye out for blank rows and columns in your table, which can cause all sorts of problems. Now, finally, I'd like to show you how to do multiple sorting, and that is to select any cell in your table. Go to the data menu, choose the sort option, and you'll notice that again, Excel automatically identifies the, the boundaries of the table, excluding the column headings but it will account for the column headings because in this dialog that's popped up I have the option to tell Excel that my data range has got a header row or has not and the header row is this bit with all the labels on so I would guess that most people will have a table with labels for the columns to tell you what the uh, the columns are about so don't worry about this here it'll automatically come up with header row and that's what you need now you see I've got three drop down options here and in each one I've got all my header labels okay so for example I can decide to sort on my customer names and then a secondary sort I can sort on the movie title again leave them both as ascending A to Z order click OK and you'll see I now have my names alphabetic and then within each customer their titles are in alphabetic order as well Okay, now I don't need to do any resorting. I'm going to go back to the data menu, choose sort again, and I'll do another sort. This time I will sort on the movie first, and then secondary sort, I will choose the date of rental. Click OK. So there we have all the movies together, and then the dates. So for example, I can see 2001 Space Odyssey, and look at the dates that they went out in the order that they were taken out, if you like, early to late, and so on which may or may not be useful. Okay, so again, I can click in my reference column and very quickly get back to its original listing order by choosing A to Z again. So that was a quick look at sorting. Hope you found that useful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.